Look at this, very exciting. A new solar charge controller and if I can get it out of this bag, look, it's an MPPT solar charge controller and it was cheap, really cheap. Just £11.96, about $15, $16 and it says 10 amp MPPT solar panel battery charge controller, 12, 24 volts waterproof timer ip68 bg whatever that means and if we read more into the description another nice picture of the same thing there and mppt charge mode soc so it really must be mppt so here it is and it's in a solid aluminium case filled with this gunk to make sure it's watertight so the wires come out and we've got six wires there of course two for the solar two for the battery two for the load there's a display there there's a couple of leds three leds and a seven segment display and a little push button there and that's it that's as much as you get oh no sorry there's also a temperature sensor so without further ado, let's wire this thing up. So I've wired things up. My battery's a bit low, but let's plug it in. Uh, in fact, let's check the battery while we're here. It's coming up with... Oh, 11.3 volts, that's very low. So we best get my solar panel plugged in quick. There we go, just tighten that up. Excellent, so look, there's an extra LED now on the charge controller. So we've got green there, that presumably means we've got solar coming in. If I check the battery, voltage, 11.5 volts. I'm climbing. Excellent, it seems to be working. So let's now check what my solar panel's doing. Hmm. That's odd. 11.89 volts. 11.9 volts. Let's just check the battery again. 11.97 solar panel. 12 volts. Hmm. They seem awfully similar, don't they? Now, here's a useful thing. I've got two meters that I can put from my solar panel coming in into the solar charge controller and from the solar charge controller through to my battery, which is great. But look at what they're saying. First of all, the voltages are almost identical. Secondly, there's somewhere about 300 milliamps coming in here. Oof, but not much going into that battery, is there? I guess these two multimeters, these two meters here, must be using some of that power, so perhaps that explains it. Look, 3.4 watts coming in. Hmm, not much more than a watt going into my battery. So, 3 watts are being used by these three devices. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think MPPT stands for Maximum Power Point Tracking. And if I look at the back of my solar panel labels, it says my maximum power point is at 17.5 volts. But this solar charge controller has got my solar panels at exactly the same as my battery voltage. I smell a rat. So what is maximum power point tracking? Well, if we look at the typical IV curve of a solar panel, the biggest area we can find below this curve is at one point here, and that is the maximum power point, and it's usually here at the knee of the curve. But this curve is changing 
as the weather conditions change, as clouds go in front of the sun, as we get to evening and all those sorts of things. So this curve is constantly changing. So the MPPT charge controller is constantly monitoring this maximum power point to try and maximise efficiency. But as a clever little extra, the MPPT charge controller does DC to DC conversion. So imagine that this solar panel was at 17 volts and 1 amp. Our battery is likely to be at something more like 12 volts. So it converts 17 volts, 1 amp, 17 watts into 12 volts and say 1.4 amps. And the area within this rectangle should hopefully be very similar to the area within this square here. Assuming we have 100% efficiency in our DC to DC converter of course. And for completeness with a real MPPT charge controller here you can see that the solar panel voltage at just over 15 volts, slightly cloudy out there now, is higher than the battery voltage just under 13 volts. So what have we learned today? £12 does not buy you an MPPT solar charge controller. It is PWM and you know what, having a waterproof PWM solar charge controller might come in handy. But if you're buying this for the MPPT functionality, look at something else. To be honest, £50, about 80 US dollars is the least you're going to have to spend for an MPPT solar charge controller. So no matter what it says on the screen, in the title, or in fact, in the description, this is not MPPT and I will contact the seller just to make sure that they are clear that they are selling something that isn't quite as described. This statement, the MPPT charge mode, is not mentioned in the manual. But if you've already bought what is called an MPPT solar charge controller and you've got it at home, how do you know whether it really is truly MPPT? Well, all you need is one multimeter, check the voltage of the battery, especially when the battery is low, and check the solar panel. And if the solar panel isn't considerably higher than the battery voltage, then it's very likely that your solar charge controller is not MPPT. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.